Nutritious whole foods and superfoods keep the human immune system functioning optimally by preventing major health issues. Lentinula edodes, commonly known as shiitake mushroom, is one such nutritious vegetable which integrate into the human diet as a health food. Shiitake mushroom is one of the world's most popular edible mushroom species known for its nutrition, flavor and medicinal properties. Shiitake mushrooms are naturally high in certain vitamins, minerals, dietary fiber and amino acids. Vitamin D, B and vitamin K, copper, selenium, pantothenic acid with high amount of zinc and iron are present in shiitake mushroom. Shiitake contains a bioactive compound lantainan which is anti-carcinogenic and has anti-tumor properties which are important for the pharmacology industry. This has led to increasing demand for shiitake mushroom in the market and in turn driving many farmers and entrepreneurs to start cultivating shiitake mushrooms on commercial scale. Traditionally, shiitake mushroom was cultivated on fallen wood logs stacked in evergreen forests in China since centuries. Subsequently, Chinese growers diffused shiitake cultivation techniques to Japanese farmers who named this mushroom and were responsible for its spread in other countries. In recent times, we frequently see the cultivation of shiitake mushroom mostly by following natural log cultivation and synthetic log cultivation. The ICAR Directorate of Mushroom Research located at Solan in Himachal Pradesh is India's apex research organization working on mushrooms. This institute has been at the forefront in serving the mushroom growing community for more than three decades. The ICAR DMR Solan is also taking steps to popularize different mushroom varieties in the country. The director ICAR DMR Solan mentioned about the advancement made in the cultivation technology of shiitake mushroom. The ICR Directorate of Mushroom Research Solan has developed an eco-friendly and short duration synthetic log production technology which is more efficient and profitable. This method offers competitive edge for commercial production of shiitake in terms of higher yield within short period of time and consistent market supply with a precise control over the cropping stool. In this regard, our directorate has released two varieties, one Shitake 388 and another Shitake 388S. Both the varieties has been released by this directorate centrally and both gave yield within 45 days of its spawning time. To cultivate Shitake mushroom on commercial scale, we require four important facilities. Cropping rooms with the facility to control temperature and relative humidity. Autoclave for sterilization of the substrate. Inoculation room for spawning with laminar airflow chamber facility. Facilities for bulk treatment with ice cold water. To set up a medium scale shiitake mushroom production unit on commercial scale with these facilities, the investment may range from rupees 25 to 50 lakh depending on the type of design, fabrication and scale of production. The shiitake mushroom cultivation on synthetic logs involves five main steps starting from substrate preparation and sterilization, spawning, incubation, cold water treatment and harvesting the matured fruiting bodies either for marketing or for processing. The commercial cultivation is done on sawdust of broadleaf trees such as thuni, mango, oak, maple and poplar. The substrate preparation stage to produce the synthetic logs is made using 80% sawdust, 19% cereal bran like wheat bran or rice bran 
and 1% calcium carbonate on weight basis. Ingredients are properly mixed and moistened to hold a moisture level of 60 to 65 percent. 1.5 to 2 kg of this substrate is filled in double polypropylene bags and kept for sterilization for 2 hours at 121 degrees centigrade. After sterilization, they are removed from the autoclave and allowed to cool down at room temperature. Caution should be taken to avoid contamination during spawning. After cooling, the sterilized bags will be seeded with grain spawn at the rate of 3% on dry weight basis of the substrate under aseptic conditions. Doing this activity in the outside environment may lead to contamination of the synthetic logs. These spawn bags are heat sealed and shaken well so that the spawn is evenly distributed in the bags. After inoculation of the bags with the spawn, they are placed in cropping rooms where they are incubated at 22 to 26 degrees Celsius. Although mycelia can grow in darkness, exposure to light of 4 hours in a day for the first 3 weeks of spawn run is critical for the browning of the mycelia blocks. During this incubation period, the synthetic logs should be exposed to 4 hours of light in a day. These conditions will favor the quick spawn run. The spawn running period may take 3 to 5 weeks depending on the strain and the variety. Later it will enter into the spawn run. it will enter into mycelia coat formation mycelia bump formation and coat hardening phases. A thick mycelia coat will develop on the surface of the substrate after 6 to 8 weeks of spawning. Once the mycelia colonize the substrate completely, the surface of the substrate may begin to turn brown with some exudates. Clumps of mycelium will form on the surface of the mycelial coat 10 to 12 days after mycelial coat formation. These very clumps will turn into mushroom fruit bodies at the later stage. When one third of the synthetic logs have turned brown, peel off the polypropylene bag to allow the hardening of the substrate surface. The mushroom crop cycle requires a sudden change in the environmental factors such as low temperature to induce the vegetative mycelium to turn to reproductive phase to yield shiitake mushroom fruiting bodies. This physiological change is achieved by soaking the synthetic blocks in ice cold water for 15 to 20 minutes. The temperature of the ice cold water should be between 4 to 6 degrees Celsius at the time of dipping the logs. After the cold shock treatment, the logs are shifted to growing rooms. In the growing rooms, a temperature of about 19 to 20 degrees Celsius and a relative humidity of more than 85% are required to be maintained till the maturity of the fruit bodies. To encourage better shelf life, 
The humidity levels should be lowered to 60% for 12 hours before harvesting of shiitake fruiting bodies. The synthetic logs start fruiting after the cold shock treatment. Though the period for fruiting vary greatly depending upon the variety and strain selected for cultivation, the OE388 variety was found to take just 7 to 9 days for fruiting after cold water treatment. Mushrooms are harvested by hand by gently twisting the type of the fruiting body and then the stipe is cut with sharp knife. The mushrooms keep coming for 15 to 20 days in a flush after cold treatment. Cold water treatment is repeated for the subsequent 2 to 3 flushes till the exhaustion of nutrients in the substrate. And keeping them at 4 to 6 degrees Celsius will extend their shelf life up to 14 days. The shiitake mushroom can also be stored up to one year by drying. While drying, arrange the mushrooms with the gills facing upwards. Air temperature of 30 to 50 degrees Celsius for a short period results in uniform drying with less shrunken fruit bodies. The harvested fresh fruiting bodies of shiitake mushroom can be stored for 3 to 4 days at 18 to 20 degrees Celsius. Higher productivity and control over the cropping are the major advantages of shiitake cultivation on synthetic logs. These benefits far outweigh the limitations of a relatively high initial investment. The total production cycle on synthetic logs is just 3 to 4 months and 75 to 125 percent biological efficiency can be achieved through this method of cultivation. It is estimated that with an initial non-recurring investment of rupees 30 lakhs for the purchase of basic equipments with 4 growing rooms the grower can harvest a fresh shiitake yield of 16 to 18 ton per annum. The market price of shiitake mushroom varies between 500 to 2000 rupees depending on the quality, consumer demand and supply. Hence, shiitake mushroom offers great entrepreneurial opportunities for new mushroompreneurs who are willing to adopt this technology.